Hey guys, it's me, Mari Reborn, and I am back with another video. So today is Sunday, July 23rd, and it's currently 1.40 p.m. And I have baby seven, he's cut off, but I do have him here, and I'm going to change him for like the last time. I know I said that already, like two outfits ago, but I'm going to change him for the last time. And I'm going to put him away until he sells because he is still for sale. And don't worry, guys. I didn't have this pasty in his mouth the whole entire time. I literally just put it in about 10 minutes before I started this video. So we're going to go ahead and get him changed. To, again, this is seriously the last time. And it might even be the last time you guys see him because you guys know I don't like playing or holding, touching, changing any of the babies I have for sale. So that is the reasoning for me not showing them a lot or changing them a lot and i only change them and hold them when i do a video give me like one second guys i'm trying to trying to make it a little bit brighter okay so hopefully that is better lighting for you all i know it looks weird and it make him look weird but the video won't be long at all let me show you guys what i'm wearing i just randomly put this out so it's just this white onesie that says happy little guy he actually came to me with this onesie and i think he wore it to me I think this is what he was wearing when I opened up his blank, his blank scope. And I haven't put it on him since then, so he has not wore it in about a year. Because I got his blank scoped in, I think, February or March of 2022. And then I'm just going to pair it with these pants. They don't match because they have baseball at the feet. But um, I'm sure I have a baseball onesie probably like a whole bunch of them but i didn't feel like looking for it so <laughs> we're just not gonna worry about that so let's go ahead and undo his passy clip and change him out of his bumper and it is hot here i told you guys before it was like 114 i think today it might just be like 100 <laughs> yeah guys i don't have a topic for today's video because it was random i didn't know i was going to do a video today but i haven't been posting a lot since i got back so i've been trying to get better at posting at least three times a week i've not got better at it but like i said i'm trying so yeah he is for sale and i can take a reasonable offer on him I don't want to do any trades because I am extremely picky, but if you have something that you think I will like and it's of equal value, then go ahead and shoot me a message. I will not trade him. I don't think I'll trade him for any vinyl doll. But again, if you think it's something I like, then who knows, I may consider it. But I really am just trying to go ahead and sell him. So yeah, this is him. He needs a bath. He is Nathan by Helen Connors, poured and molded by Tracy Her Tracy Harrington. He is a boo-boo baby. His blank scoped had boo-boos, and then his sides of his cheeks right there and right here are like peeling. But aside from that, I think he's a great price. It's like one of them. Has a head full of hair that is super messy. But yeah, he is. See, we all have our different meanings of expensive, high, and cheap. Like cheap to some people is like a hundred dollars for the reborns. Cheap for me for the reborns is like 300, 350. So we all have our different meanings. And then like expensive for me is like depending on the doubt but of course with silicone it's like up there but like expensive reforms for me i say is like 1500 for our vinyl doubt 2000 is pushing it <laughs> and then i know expensive for the vinyl dolls are like five or six hundred for some of you so we do all have our different meanings on the words 
expensive, high-priced, overpriced, cheap, that type of thing for the babies. So what I consider cheap may not be what you guys consider cheap because I do consider him to be a cheap baby for silicone. Not a cheap baby in general, but for him being a full body silicone that is biracial or AA, I consider him to be a very good price because I know babies like him can be like 1500 and he's way less than that. Yeah, I think he's a good price. And I allow... Oh, I buttoned this up wrong. And I allow payment plans. So, again, if you are interested in him, then don't hesitate to message me. It's cool seeing this on him while he's painted. I think that would be cool, like, if you get, like, a blank scope you put them in like a really cute outfit before they get painted i know you're not supposed to play with them or dress them up but just this one time put them in like just one outfit while they're blank and then put that same exact outfit on them when they get painted and see the difference these artists really are something magical they work from nothing to give us something so that plays a part in pricing as well. Yeah, let's go ahead and put his pants on. I need to catch up on some videos today. I'm super behind on pretty much everyone's channel. But I have not had any time to record or do anything. But also, I forgot to tell you guys. You guys know my Margo by Cassie Brace. He is still for sale. Oh, I forgot I have to speak up because in my last video I was talking quiet. So I have to remember to speak up in this video so you guys can hear me. When I was editing it, it was really low and I thought it was just because... I don't know, I just thought it was just low on my laptop. But it turns out it was actually just a low video. So I was talking really, really low so I'm going to talk louder in this video. Okay, so like I was saying, you guys know my Margot by Cassie Brace. That baby is still for sale. But I changed, I didn't change his eyes, but I repositioned his eyes because his eye was crooked. And so now I took his head off his body yesterday and I repositioned both of his eyes. And now his eyes are, they're better than what they were before, that's for sure. But they are as straight as I could get them because those, that was a challenge yesterday, guys. I was like, oh my gosh. So his eyes are no longer crooked. So I'm hoping that way. Um, there's no problem with him trying to sell. I do want to change him into one last outfit, do his hair, and take some pictures now since his eye is no longer crooked and see if he'll be able to get sold. I'll actually bring him down and show him to you guys so you guys can see his eye since this video is only about nine minutes long. I'm getting his hair really, really wet because he hasn't had his hair done in about a month. was a long time and I don't have okay I do have the baby's brushes and combs but I didn't have any time to look for them so I'm going to be using this that I just found over there and I just saw a baby comb a couple of days ago like not too long ago and then I checked I thought it was like on the desk and so I checked the desk and it wasn't there so I was like well I'm not really going to look for it so, I'll just use something else. What the heck? He has a piece of cardboard that was in his hair. He was in a box for a long time. Okay. His hair is nice and silky. I really like his hair. The only thing I don't like is there's always like a problem with me styling it. Like, I'm horrible at styling his hair. So, he can look pretty funny. Or not his cutest if his hair isn't styled properly so I'm trying to go ahead and make sure I style it pretty good so yeah I think if I were to style his hair better he'll look a lot cuter than what he's showing up now so yeah I have this 
opacity that I think I want to put in just for the sake of the video I'll take it out after because I do like him with passies in but he's super cute without him his mouth is already open this outfit so let's put this passy in and then I'll bring down Margo and usually passies fit him pretty good like the one you guys just saw that's a Dollar Tree pacifier and it fits him really really good this one might not fit him because of the nipple but oh it does so yeah passies fit him really really good it doesn't stick out depending on the passy i only had a few passies that actually stuck out and didn't look right on him but for the most part they're really really good okay and he's just a uh, platinum solid platinum silicone he's not like super soft blend or marshmallow none of that um i compare him to like equal flex 20 i think that's a good uh, representation for him is equal flex 20 because he's soft he's squishy but and he like he does wrinkle in certain areas but he isn't like super soft or super wrinkly so again that all that stuff does play a factor in his pricing as well all right are you guys ready to see the new and improved margo and don't mind his hair because like I said it was a hassle to put his eyes in so his hair got messed up in the process but I'm gonna like I said I'm gonna redo it so I'm gonna move Marco just I mean not Marco I'm gonna move seven just up here and seven again is the Nathan sculpt by Helen Connors I know I said that already okay and I took I took a, some stuffing out of Margot's head that way he can sit up better and then I added a few up here so his eye is no longer crooked yay it's not the best and it's not super straight it's not super straight but I tried my best because this was a challenge it was super hard but I personally think they look a lot better than they did before. They don't look really crooked and I think he looks a lot cuter with his eyes positioned the way I did them than before, in my opinion. You guys might have liked how they looked before, but I know a lot of people didn't because I was getting hate comments for his eye and things like that and I'm like, whoa guys. I didn't do anything wrong. I'm not even the artist, but go ahead, spread your hate on me, I guess. So, yeah, fix his eye yesterday. And that's pretty much it for today's video. I always have to remember to take you guys off the tripod and bring you guys closer. But I'm not going to do that for today's video. Again, he is for sale if you guys are interested. If you guys get his hand position right, he can suck on his little fingers, which is cute. He doesn't have any armatures. Again, he's just like a basic silicone. He's a great starter silicone if you've never had silicone before. Or if you had like a mini silicone and you want to work your way up to a bigger silicone. He is 20 inches, 6 pounds. He's super long, but he is petite. So he isn't like, he isn't big or heavy. So like I said, he is a really, really good silicone. And I think he was a good silicone for me to have. And now he can be a good silicone for someone else to have. He was a private order for me. And I am his first owner and mom. So you guys will be his second mom or dad. All right, that's enough talking that I want to do for today's video. If you guys want to go ahead and follow me on Instagram, you guys can do so. My Instagram is Maya underscore Reborns. If you guys are interested in him or Margo, DM me on Instagram. If you don't have Instagram, that's okay. You guys can email me, serious inquiries only. All time wasters will be blocked from future purchases. You guys will not be able to purchase from me if you waste my time one time too many. So please keep that in mind. If you don't have the money, that's okay. Just don't contact me. All right. If you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Comment below anything you guys want in the comments, including video requests. And if you guys are not subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe button and also ring that bell so you guys know I'll be notified when I post another video. And we will talk to you guys later.
Bye.